welcome to another video tutorial, this time Siemens NX 8.5. I want to do the user wish the capital lag in NX. So let's start with a sketch on the plane. I might need a rectangle. And let's say it's here yeah, about this. Okay. Set these lines to reference. Okay, then I want to draw two lines and two splines. So maybe one line right here and another one maybe here. Okay, then I go for a spline. which starts here and then goes something like Apply and another one. Let's finish this sketch and I want to copy it. So make a copy and insert it, paste and I want to have it on this plane and Let's take a look. Yeah. Looks okay. Then I make an extrusion with one of these. So just there's a small error right here. So let's check it out. Yes this one and that point should be coincident. Finish the sketch and same for the copy. Yes, this point and this point should be coincident as well. Now I should be able to do the extrusions. So, yes, okay, and another one with this sketch, change direction and make it intersect, and okay. I can hide these two sketches. Now I would need these 
edges as lines. So I go for insert, go from bodies, and I make a extract, and I need edge curves, this one, that one, this one, and this one, and OK. Now I can hide the extrude. So I've got only these four curves. I might insert some more planes, at least one. So let's go for a datum plane and make it through three points, for example. So one point, second point, third point, and OK. Then I need at least two sketches, and I could do more here. So I will insert another plane with an offset at distance from this one. Let's make two, make it 50, that's OK. And now I go for the sketches. One sketch right here on this plane. And I need the intersect points. From this one, apply that one, apply that one, apply, and there should be a fourth one. It's this one, and OK. Now I will draw a circle like this. And then you have to make sure that these four points are on this circle. So take a point, select the circle coincident, point, circle, coincident, point, circle, coincident, and point, circle, coincident. OK. Finish the sketch. Let's draw another one right on this plane. OK. Again, I need the intersection points. Apply, apply, apply. And for this one as well. OK. Then draw a circle somewhere, doesn't matter. And again, this point. Fine. Finish this sketch. So I will add one more here. Okay. Again, get the intersection points. Apply. Apply. Apply and OK. Now draw a circle and take this point onto that circle this point onto that circle 
that point onto the circle and this one as well. So this is our constraint. Let's check it. Take the arc and try to get the point yeah that's still over constraint should be because these four points is one point too much on this plane on this plane it didn't matter in this case the program has a sort of problem There's one constraint too much because one circle is defined by three points and I got four points. So let's undo it again and check if it works. Because there's always a problem to get these curves onto these points and through that circle. But let's check it. So now I go for a studio surface, should be right here. And first section would be this circle. Next one, this one. Change the direction. And then Next set would be the circle, again reverse direction and now give it some guide cross curves. First one, add a new set, second one, add a new set, this one. Get a new set, this one, and now to get a solid, I have to add this one again, and OK. So, I hope you enjoyed this short video. See you next time. Bye bye.